Hey guys, welcome back to Dr. Soybean's Let's Play of Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure Part 7. Continuing on with the 22nd Budokai's final match, we're going to fight Tien. Uh, and this is one of the hardest, if not the hardest, fights in the entire game. Uh, there is a strategy, but I'm hoping I can get through this in one go. Basically, you want to try and hit him with your down B attack. Because he's so tall, uh, going for the legs is your best chance at breaking him. And then of course you want to try and hit the f launch combo, and then ideally nail him with a Kamehameha as he's getting up. Nice. So far doing very well, but even at this point I'm not even close to being confident because he can come back in a big way, and if he hits you with his Kiko Ho, or Tri-Beam as the dub calls it, you're pretty much fucked. Although I gotta say, so far this is actually, well, he got me there. But up to that point, that was by far the best I've ever done against him. Just don't get cocky, kid. Nice. One more combo like that should finish him. Shit, he got me there. That's alright. No! Holy shit. Okay, that was devastating. But, does him no good. Alright. Wow. So this playthrough has been ass backwards. I lost to Krillin and beat Tien on my first try. So Roshi takes everybody out to eat, but Goku uh, forgot his Dragon Ball and his power pole back at the tournament arena. Krillin volunteers to go back and get it, and ends up getting himself killed. And Goku flies, flies off to uh, find his killer, which is of course Tambourine. And now in the series, it begins the Demon King Piccolo saga, the last, uh, you know, uh, saga in Dragon Ball before we switch to DBZ. And I mentioned earlier, when the Red Ribbon saga started, the series kind of became a little more intense, and it got even more intense with the uh, Piccolo saga. Basically, there's very little difference between the Piccolo saga and the... Uh, and Dragon Ball Z in terms of the violence other than that Goku's a kid. And Tamburin can be a little tricky. For example, when he does that teleport, it's really best to just try and avoid him. And then when he does his flyby here, same deal. Shit. You can sometimes nail him after that teleport punch. Crap. Come on, you fucker. Take one of those. Okay, nice. Beautiful. You're not actually a demon, you're a mutant Namekian. 
But of course the story doesn't know that yet. So he destroys Nimbus and beats the crap out of you. You meet Yajirobe. And then you get your fight with King Piccolo, your first fight. Wow, he called you a turd. <laughs> Pretty insulting. Uh, and this is another fight, like the uh, first Tao Pai Pai fight, where you're actually expected to lose. I mean, look at the health compared to his. No way you're winning this, unless you're a true master. Yeah, I don't even think I damaged him. So he beats the crap out of you, but doesn't kill you. And then you get Yajirobe to take you to Korin's tower. King Piccolo kills Master Roshi. Uh, takes the Dragon Balls and uses them to restore his youth, and then kills the dragon. See, that's something I thought was really cool when Piccolo killed the dragon so no one else could use it against him. No other villain had that uh, idea. So then Goku goes to the catacombs to get the, uh, or the caves, whatever the hell they are, to get the mystic water. Alright, enough dialogue, let's go. And this is uh, one of the most annoying parts of the game. Because this area here is pretty maze-like. I mean, it's not terrible, but... It can be irritating. Just hope I remember how to where to go. Oh crap. <laughs> Alright, so far so good, but that was a straightaway. Uh the lead up is the way to go here. Um, yeah, I think it's up again that you want to go. Yep. So far, so good. Now, which way here? I think it's this way. Ooh, extra life. That we probably don't need. I'm gonna be sitting at 16, yeah. Where to waste your grenade whipping it into the wall? Uh, okay. Why do I feel like this? Oh shit. Yeah, I hope I'm going the right way here. This area can be really annoying. Oh shit. You know what that did, viewers? That literally took me right back to the beginning. Okay, so up, here, that's where the extra life was, we came out of there, not there, oh a burger, nice, give me that. 
Okay, here's somewhere new. Come here. Why does this look so familiar? Alright, I think it's this way we gotta go. Oh, nice. Dog was carrying a burger for some reason. Oh, shit. Forgot about this part. Shit! Run! Oh, God. That was close. Okay. And here we get our first boss in this area. Spirit Yamcha. Whatever you want to call him. A thought form of Yamcha. Created from Goku's mind. Nice. Took out the bomb and took out Yamcha. Nice. There's the double hit. Which I often have trouble getting to work. But it worked that time, and he is almost dead. Shit. That was a wolf fang fist. Whoa, damn it. Okay, got him. So that's boss number one in this area. Boss two will be another familiar face. By the way, one thing I always noticed about Dragon Ball, shit, I need some health. Fuck. I think it'll start me right at the beginning of this section, though. Yeah. Uh, is how quickly they nerfed Yajirobe. Uh, when he was introduced, it was pretty much established that Goku and Tien were the two strongest fighters at that time, and they were more or less equals. But when Yajirobe was first introduced, uh, he was right on their level, maybe slightly below them, but almost on their level, like above Krillin, above uh, Yamcha, Roshi, and Chiaotzu. Uh And then in the 23rd Budokai, I guess, well, because he didn't really do much training for it, he kind of just fell behind everybody else and stayed behind. Uh, now this fucking part... Hope I'm going the right way. Oh, no, but that was helpful anyways. Oh, alright, well, good thing I got that. Alright. Fucker. Let's give him a big one. right in the face. Let's take out this guy the same way. Oh, he needs a bit more. Now we get two of these fuckers. Shit! I want to charge it! There we go. Beautiful. Jesus, couldn't go through there. Oh, right or left, I forget. Oh, I think we got it. Yes! Last boss of this area... ...is Dark Form, or Shadow Form, whatever, Krillin. Give him one of those to start him off.
Oh shit, missed him with that. Fuck you. But, in regards to Yajirobe being nerfed, I guess it does fit in with his lazy personality. Also, he never really bothered to uh, learn to manipulate key, never learned to fly. Shit. Well, I was trying to do the double and it didn't. Fuck. Again. Is Krillin just my, like, kryptonite or something? Fuck, he beats me in the tournament and he beats me here. Let's give him another shot. Ah, you little fucker! He's so goddamn... You know what it is? He's a lot quicker than... Yamcha. And Tien in the tournament. The little fucking tricky little quick fuckers that always. Nice, that was a nice combo. Ah, you shithead. Nice. Okay, it's gonna be a close one. I'm out of key. Come on! Yes! Oh, got him! And we get... The Holy Water. Raises our health to its absolute maximum. Alright viewers, uh, we'll call that part 7. I will see you guys in part 8, which will most likely be the final part of this Let's Play. Let's go finish off King Piccolo. See you guys then.